The Polyforce in-store modular system allows a distributor to keep individual components on hand, giving them the ability to build the required belt tensioner on demand. This reduces the amount of inventory a distributor needs. The modular system consists of 14 different housing assemblies, six pulleys, and three arms. With this limited inventory, a distributor can now easily build nearly any heavy-duty belt tensioner on the market. Simply look up the OEM part number in the Polyforce cross-reference guide or online at kitmasters.com to determine which components are required. The first step in the assembly process is attaching the arm to the housing. To do this, you'll need to know which side of the arm goes against which side of the housing. You'll notice that the arm is marked with a one side and a two side. You'll also notice that the housing is marked with an A side and a B side. In the cross-reference guide or online, you'll see a column called arm location. This column is used to determine which side should be facing each other. In this example, we see B1. That means that the one side of the arm should be against the B side of the housing. Once you have this determined, Attach the arm using two socket head cap screws from the hardware kit that comes with the housing. Using the included Polyforce torque tool and a torque wrench, torque the bolts to 25 foot-pounds. The next step in the assembly is to attach the pulley to the arm by using the pulley bolt included in the hardware kit. Using the Polyforce torque tool and a torque wrench, Torque the bolt to 25 foot-pounds. Now you'll need to install the index ring on the front of the housing. First, check the cross-reference guide or kitmasters.com to determine the correct placement of the index ring. In this example, the index ring placement is 26. This means that the arrow on the front of the housing should point to the 26 mark on the index ring. Simply set the index ring onto the housing at this point and install the retaining ring. Now check the cross-reference guide or kitmasters.com to determine which pin to use, the large or small, and the correct placement of the pin. In this example, we need the small pin, and the placement shows F. Simply screw the pin into the hole in the index ring that is marked with an F, and you're finished. You have a completely assembled, better-than-new belt tensioner.